Hey, surprise, surprise, everybody. This is Travis Blaze at Sketch to Animate in my new office. Uh, I am doing this impromptu thing uh, really quick before I, I head out for the weekend because uh, in, in honor of the fact that we are launching Calipeg tutorial through Creature Art Teacher, I wanted to kind of quickly just, uh, you know, just do a little demo here today. Um, I'm going to be sharing my screen momentarily. I don't know how I'm going to do this uh, with answering questions because I've got a split screen um, that you guys can see as I'm doing this. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work because I typically have my chat room up on, the, um, on my iPad typically. So I don't have it in any other, any other thing. I'm going to see if I can try to get to it through my, uh, my, my phone itself. Um, but if I can't do that, um, uh, I'll try to figure out another alternative to uh, doing this. Every now and again, I'll just check, uh, check my split screen uh, so we can kind of see how things are going here. But um, at, any, at any rate, uh, I'm going to do just a, a quick demo uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of talking, uh, and then I'll be just going through this, and then I'll open it up for chats afterwards. So if you don't hear a response from me, it's simply because I'm monotasking at the moment. So um, I'm seeing there's a few people in here already. We've got we got Bristol, we got Kitchy Cat, uh, we've got Drewby, uh, we've got let's see here Jorge, Dylan. Young Dope 21, Life Fantasy X, Bristol, uh, Shanna Hayward, and yes, Life Fantasy X again. Okay, so hello everybody. And so if you guys haven't uh, gotten the iPad or you don't have an iPad, um, you may want to get one at some point because the Calipeg app is pretty awesome and it's getting better every day. I mean, I just put out this tutorial officially today and there's already new updates to it that I'm gonna to have to go in and put and do some new recordings for the interface because there's a lot of new features that have been added since I released this, cal this uh, tutorial. That's how fast things are happening. So, um, but the tutorial itself, I'll just kind of go back into it really quick. The tutorial is based on my experience, my 30 years experience as an animator. Um, I took uh, all of those experiences and I, I got w together with Calipeg and I became one of their beta testers and then I started really using the interface and really started pushing towards how we can make this a really good keyframe animation app that not only uh, you can draw in it uh, and animate in it but also it's got great brush tools and it has uh, a lot of new added features like importing video that I will be updating my tutorial on, but also they're gonna be updating even more stuff later on, which is adding audio, uh, camera moves, even we've been talking to them about doing storyboarding within this app. Yes, this is an app that will eventually over time become something that for someone who doesn't have a big computer, but has an iPad, especially any students out there that wanna use an iPad for digital work, but you know, can't afford to get the bigger computers. The, this is a great thing for on the go. I'm already using it for myself when I'm on the go, when I go down uh, to Oregon for the weekend from Seattle, I'll take my, my iPad with me and I'll start sketching thumbnails for my storyboards I'm gonna use for, for Netflix. So um, there's a lot of, lot of things uh, that you can utilize this with. And I'm just gonna go to the chat room real quick. And I'm seeing here, let's see, Life Fantasy X says, looks like Travis is taking over Aaron's stream during the during his absence. <laughs> well, you know, he Aaron took the week off uh, a, a very, very uh, well-deserved break. Um, if you know, Aaron has just been 
like working on a novel. I call it the novel tutorial on uh, falcons and peregrines and, and birds of prey. It's such a huge endeavor that he was doing. Um, I was watching him along the way and asking him questions. I'm like, man, you should turn this into a book because this book is going to be, this could be in like the Smithsonian one day, or it's just going to be one of those things that, in my opinion, for that type of tutorial that he's going into, it's going to be something that's going to live way beyond his years. And I see it in so many different facets of, of downloadable for tutorials, but also if he could ever make it into a book, I will be the first one to buy it and have it on my bookshelf, putting it in school systems. It's just a great, really, really awesome tool, uh, especially birds. This birds of prey thing is like none other than I've seen. So I'm pretty excited that he's, he's wrapping that up. Um, let's see here. I see HD learning to draw says, good day, Travis. Harry from Australia, nice to see you. Uh, we've got, hey, uh, Shana, Shana says, hey, it, he had worked hard and, and down amazing on his streams with Dustin. Yes, he has worked very amazing. Krista Animation, I love, I love that octopus, and I've got to somehow make my own and put that in there for the Monday, uh, Monday streams. Um, if you guys don't know this, I'm doing Draw Over Mondays on Twitch. Every Monday from 6 to 9 p.m., I'm doing Draw Over Mondays, and I think this week, uh, and for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be using, I'm going to try using the iPad more often. So I'm going to have to figure out an alternative way, uh, to look at my chat room, uh, so I can answer questions. So once I go into talking about Calipagan drawing, um, you're just going to have to sit tight for a little bit. Um, I'll take a break maybe in between and then ask questions. We can ask questions along the way. So, um, Shana says, Shana says, I am on his membership. His it's amazing. Oh, that's great. I'm glad that you're on the membership there. Uh, soon and very soon. Well, I shouldn't say soon ish. Uh, we're going to have a storefront at sketch to animate.com and that will have, um, we're going to be putting together our very first tutorial. And one of the things that we're going to put in, putting together is a really intensive uh, look into how to build a storyboard portfolio from all and trying to answer all the questions that students ask in terms of how to uh, build your portfolio, what people are looking for, how to pitch um, thumbnailing, all the things that you see that I'm doing with my live streams during the uh, Wednesday live streams with ARC, I'm gonna be condensing all of that stuff and putting it all into uh, this bigger tutorial that I will eventually come out with and sell my own through Sketch to Animate. So that will probably be our very first paying tutorial. So that's gonna be a few months down the road, but we're definitely looking forward to trying to do something like that. Uh, Brush Mechanic says, maybe OBS can be shared on your Cintiq. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I, OBS is on my, I'm using OBS right now. I'm, I'm reflect, I'll even show you this right now so you guys can see, um, so you can see what I see because I have my chat room open up. Um, I'm going to switch it over to my Cintiq so you can kind of see this. Uh, so this is how I've got everything set up. Hey guys, you can see your chats happening right now. Um, so I've got my live, I basically split my iPad. So this is, I'm using the Reflector app. Um, the Reflector app is pretty good for mirroring anything from your, um, if you have your, your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on, mirroring things onto your Mac. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it might work on PCs as well, but I'm a Mac-based person. So I've got my iPad reflecting onto my Cintiq and then see, see me in a PIP screen. So on the right is the chat room and on the left, of course, is the actual Calipeg uh, studio gallery area. So, uh, and I'm looking over here right now, I'm seeing uh, Shana says, I think you're all awesome, so awesome and kind and helping others along the way forward. So big thank you. You are incredibly welcome. Um, HD Learning says, which platforms are you live across? I am live across Twitch, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and Facebook. Um, the exclusive channel that I do on Mondays is just on Twitch. So you got to subscribe to Twitch. And if you want to come and, 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 and if you enjoy what I'm doing there, you should come in and be a subscriber to my channel there where I am literally asking people, any of you guys, to come on board, throw me uh, any kind of animated scenes that you've done, any kind of storyboard work that you've done, 
uh, any kind of character designs and I will sit there and I will uh, with the right questions that you want me to ask or you ask the right questions and I will sit down and do draw overs uh, over the work that you present to me and I will then go ahead and try to answer the questions that you've presented to me and the way to find all of that is if you go to and uh, you're not going to see anything you're just going to see the banner here uh, and you're going to see my arm because it's I've got it set up so when I've got Mateo or Jacob or someone uh, manning the chat room for me they can sit in my little chair my little side chair here so um, this is the side chair so here's my arm hey guys hello uh, you go to sketch to animate below right here and you click on draw over Mondays and then that will get you uh, all the information that you need to be um, be able to send your work to me so I can do drawovers and we'll do it live and we it's usually a lot of fun to have my co my cohort uh, wink winkler is there and also we you can always watch the restreams on youtube.com forward slash sketch to animate and then also I have this patreon right here which supports my YouTube channel now um, I'm working building on doing back to more back to basic tutorials for the patreon people and also I'm just releasing the latest PDFs that I've been doing which is anyone who's a tier member on patreon gets any PDFs of the live streams that I do on Wednesday or any of the live streams that I do period um, they'll get PDFs of those types of things uh, especially uh, there's a lot of really good information when I'm uh, storyboarding and thumbnailing out uh, my stuff here. I'm going to transition back. So there you go. Um, let's see. Uh, HD Learning says sending you an email today. Hopefully you'll receive it. Thank you very much. I hope to receive it as well. Um, so let's get into it. I, I don't have a whole lot of time so that's why I just want to dive into this and say if you haven't gotten, if you've gotten the Calipag tutorial already, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I hope you really like it. And again, the interface is, interface is changed, so maybe I'll just kind of throw in a couple of things with how the interface has changed and what's new. Um, but you'll see a more in-depth tutorial on that as I update what I've currently sent out there. Um, again, Calipag is fast working on new updates. And when that comes out, I will be sure to bring a new tutorial out there that will kind of demonstrate all of the tools that Calipag has. So as they grow, I'm going to grow with you guys. So let's let's uh, let's switch it over here. I'm going to I'm going to go into the chat room. So if you guys want to say anything last, um, I'm going to go. I'm going to get rid of the chat room for a bit, and then I'll come back to it. So just bear with me. All right, here we go. All right. So we've got Calipag here. And um, with the I've got the latest uh, version of Calipag that should be out there for everybody else. So um, what we've got here, we've got select a new shot and import. We're going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and do a new shot so we can start in this. Um, actually, you know what? This might be fun. Uh, I'll show you some things um, that I was working on before. This was a, a quick doodle that I did for my neighbor. Um, one of the things that I love about Calipag is that it's a drawing app. It's, it's like Procreate. It's like, you know, all the other apps that are out there. It, it doesn't just animate. It also, you can use this for all of your preliminary sketches or designs. And so this was a quick sketch that I did in Calipig. And what you'll notice is on the bottom here, um, I'm using my pen right now. And I should have a downshooter uh, for that, but I don't. I'm, so I'm using, I have a, uh, a Cintiq, uh, I'm sorry, I have a, uh, an iPad Pro pen um, and so also the other thing to know is that the app works only with the the, the iPad Pros um, so you're gonna want to get an iPad Pro you're gonna want to get a pen and you're gonna I'm telling you the like I love the pen the nibs I get and also if you're like me you're gonna want to get a whole bunch of these new nibs right here because um, I wear them down really fast so you can get like a little four pack and they literally just screw right off like this, just like that, and you can screw them right back on. That's that's where all the magic happens, right in there. Um, I've dropped this. I've I've sheared that that tip off, um, and when it does, it gets really wonky. But when you are able to use it, man, the line sensitivity on this is so good. So one of the things I, I just want to show you is like how quickly you can go in here. Now, 
with your fingers, with your two fingers, you can just simply um, scroll around and look at, um, I'm going across right now using my finger and I could scroll across the timeline. What's great about the timeline is that um, there, this is one of the, my favorite features with Calipeg is that you can shrink it um, to an infinite amount of uh, panels or you can increase the size just by putting your two fingers together and squeezing it this way and squeezing it that way you can increase or decrease your timeline and you can move it around too which is really cool um, that's one of the things I love about this and you can scroll scroll through it really quick oh there's another little preliminary drawing I did I actually ended up printing this out I want to zoom out zoom into this and scroll over there so you can see it a bit better um, Again, I'll be going over this in more in depth uh, with the tutorial that I'm going to be, the little video tutorial that I'm going to add for the interface. But what's cool is that one of the things that's changed is at the bottom you see a pencil. That pencil is basically, if you click that, I'm going to go to the top here. If you click that, it just adds a new panel or a new uh, layer. And with each one of these layers, you can, you can double click and name it. So you can name it test. And I'll say OK. And now I've got it as test. Uh, you've got um, transparency layers in here where you can do an, a, a transparency. You can hide uh, your layers. This is your menu, menu button right here. If you press on this, uh, all of these little awesome icons appear. And there's an eye for seeing or not seeing. So it's, it's really pretty clear as to um, what you can do. There's also a new feature where they show only show only this layer, which wasn't in the uh, previous uh, version that I did with the tutorial. Um, this is something that's new that they've added. But you can basically click this and it will only show that layer and nothing else. Or you can hide this layer, which I've done. So I can go in and I can hide that layer. I can hide that layer. And I can hide that layer. And let's for kicks and goes, I'm going to hide the background layer. Now, I haven't named any of these, but you can name them anything you want. So um, again, even if you don't know anything about animation and you want to just try to have something fun to, to work with, you can do this super, super easy. It doesn't, it's, it doesn't, it's not rocket science. Um, over the left here, you see um, these numbers. Um, to the left screen, you see four circles. One is an undo and redo. The arrows are pretty straightforward. Undo and redo are the arrows back and forth. Uh, you've got your size. You've got your transparency, which I'm doing right now. Um, I'm, I'm holding the, the pen down on it and I'm going up and down. That gives you your transparency and also your pen size. So the other added feature that they have that's pretty cool is they, what I love is all of the brushes, they've got all of these, these brush tools right here, but not only that now, now that, you know, that's again, these are things that I'm going to add in the new tutorial and give you an update for the Calipig tutorial. It has straight lines. So now if I, if I grab a straight line and let's say I want to grab a flat brush, now I can, oop, I could do a straight brush. Hold on. Why is my pen not working now? Now my pen isn't working. Let's see here. I do, oh, you know why my pen's not working? It's because I don't have it on a layer. That's why. So let's put it on a layer. So if you want it, I'll undo that real quick. All I did is double click onto the new layer that I created at the bottom, which is right here. Again, another great thing is how easy this scrolls up and down. And there's lots of two finger, three finger methods that I kind of go through um, that even though they've made changes to uh, some of the interface with the new version that they've come out with, the two to three finger and even four finger uh, uh, things that I show in the tutorial are still relevant for how they use this. They've really made this app to work well with the iPad and really take advantage of what the iPad has to offer. So um, you've got several options. I'm still a traditionalist, so I don't use the two scroll. I use my two fingers or three fingers to scroll back and forth sometimes. I can go up and down, and that literally will sc scrub my animation as I go back and forth, which is kind of nice. I'm drawing with my left, and I'm scrubbing with my right. So let's go back again here. So let's see if my pencil's working. I'm, I'm back on here. I've got 100% um, on that. I've uh, got that okay. 
Uh, there we go. There we go. Now we're, we're now we're getting somewhere. I want to make sure that I've got. There we go. So you've got your straight tools now. This is another added feature that's really cool. You've got straights. See, I'm just I'm clicking and I'm dragging across, and now I have straight lines. This is something that we've asked them to do from the get go. Uh, all the beta testers, um, and we have some really really remarkable beta testers that are out there, um, have been you know really requesting um, certain basic tools to have. Um, for instance, like the square. Uh, let me let me get the size down here so it's not so big. I'll knock it down like the square. Now you can do squares, which is awesome. Um, not only that is you have the circle. Now you can do circles. Now, if, if I understand correctly, um, this is also a really cool feature. This is my workspace, right? I'm taking my two fingers right here and I'm squeezing them. I'm opening them like this. I'm, I've got them on the screen and I'm bringing them out and I'm bringing them in. And what that's doing is it's, it's increasing and decreasing my my workspace. So what's great is you don't have to, um, you don't have to like in TV paint or these other programs, I can just take my two fingers and I go, okay, I want to, I want to turn my paper around. Well, I can easily turn my paper around and, and I'm doing it in real time, which is great. And if I get it really small and I want to snap it back into place, all I do is I snap it with my fingers. I just squeeze my fingers like this, boom, and snaps it right back into place. Really, really, really awesome stuff. Um, but the great thing is, is the brushes. I, I'm really, I'm really happy with, uh, the pencil tools. Uh, Melanie did a great job. Um, she did a great job doing this. Um, you have options, so many different options in here to customize even the brushes that they have. Uh, this is your little tool area or your, your kind of, um, your properties area for smoothing. Uh, you can smooth out your line. Um, I, t I typically like to keep it around five ish, two to five is a really nice, nice area for your brushes when you're drawing. So, um, I'll just draw something really quick here and I'll draw something that I know really well. And let's say I'll draw, um, I'll draw an octopus. How about that? We'll draw an octopus here. So I'm going to, I'm going to get out of, I'm going to get into my, uh, regular brush. And I'm going to erase that really quick. Oh, and there's the transparency was on 91%. So that's a great thing is if you, if you draw something, you can double click and some people like this. Some people don't. I like to use double click and un double click puts, um, to the pencil or to the eraser, to the pencil or to the eraser. And if you're not careful, sometimes you accidentally double tap and you start erasing. But that's okay because you can always undo it. Um, so let's go in, let's double tap. We got my, uh, my pencil going. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to just draw for you guys really quick. Uh, 33. Yeah. I'm going to draw for you guys a circle. Uh, and I've shown this structure wise and how to draw Ota, uh, my, uh, samurai blind samurai octopus. I'm putting in his eyes here real quick and I'm just drawing in some simple shapes. And I'm, it's again, if you've, if you guys have had any experience with the, uh, pencil itself, you'll realize how intuitive and how nice and detailed this pencil really is and how well it works. Um, and so I'm just going to do a quick, quick kind of like structure drawing of what Ota looks like. And I can, and you can see how quickly I can just block these, these things in, um, a, I've been doing this a long time, but it's, super, super easy. And if I want to zoom into that real quick, I just take my two fingers. If I turn it, oh yeah, you know, it's so easy to turn it any way you want it to get that right shape that you want. And then bam, you just put it back by pinching your fingers. That's what I like about this too. It's, it just makes things, um, so much fun. Oh, and we just lost it. So let me do that again. I'm going to, I'm going to bring back the mirror. Sometimes, uh, with reflector, it loses, uh, the mirror. And so all you have to do is basically click it back again and we're good to go. All right, there we go. So, um, that's just one thing to look out for when you get the, the, the software. Also, another thing, um, when you look at my tutorial, I talk about keyframe animation 
and I talk about it from a traditional standpoint. So because they originally had bare bones to the software program, um, without a lot of the bells and whistles that they're going to be putting in, um, you know, I treated it like as it was I was drawing on paper, and I had to think very traditional in terms of my logic and how I created my pipelines. Uh, for instance, there is no dialogue yet to import, but if you th record dialogue and you break your dialogue down in, let's say, an editing program where you can see and scrub through and find all of the phonemes on what frame you put them on, then all you have to do is write that down on a next sheet, and guess what? You can animate traditionally in this. And there are apps that you can get, editing apps, that are really good that you can get to add to the robustness of what you have with the iPad. And I'm not on top of that, I've got this thing here I want to show you. Um, where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. So there's this little adapter that I got. And it costs about 40, 40 bucks. But it's a power. It plugs into your USB-C to power it. And you've got, um, you've got HDMI and you've got a flash drive, a USB. So basically what that means is um, if you want extra storage, you can max this thing out and get extra storage. Or you can also attach it to a cloud or to Google and create all of your backup files on the cloud or on the server. Or you can also dump everything onto a larger hard drive space because now they're, like, they're becoming like mini computers. You can add this in here. Um, the one thing they don't have yet, which um, you can use a keyboard for the iPad, but they don't have hotkeys yet, um, and they've been talking about possibly putting hotkeys in there. Can't promise you when that would happen, but if they do, that's even a game changer because now it's treating it like you are working in a real, on, a, on a real desktop computer. Um, again, the screen size, um, this is great for when you want to back up things or you want to transfer things over to uh, the uh, desktop. I also have it set up so I can airdrop stuff. So when I'm working on a scene and I want to do a PNG, I, I'll export a PNG or I'll do just an MOV file. I'll export that MOV and I'll airdrop it to my desktop. Boom, I'll drop it into TV Paint and I could finish up where I left off with Calipeg. Now, um, I'm working with Calipeg and asking them later on if they can do PSD outputs uh, PSD sequence outputs and other various outputs. Right now you can do PSD output or PNG outputs, uh, but it's still very valuable and very good. So again, I love the fact that I can zoom in on this and make it as big as I want. Also, um, it'll tell you, um, you have standard sizes. If I go back into the gallery, I'll open this, this octopus up real quick. If you go back into new shot, um, you have a whole area right here where now it has pr present standard HD. Now you have different options. This is something that they didn't have in the previous version when I did my tutorial. Now, and we've asked them to do this. We've asked them to do pre-built um, setups for you guys so that if you want to quickly do a, a square uh, 1280 by 1280, a YouTube, a YouTube 1080p, a standard HD, or do a layout that's 200 DPI, which is basically doubling it up, which is almost like 4K. This, these are already set in there for you. And it's awesome that they've, or they've, they pre-built that in there. Like I said, as this Calipeg app progresses and they listen to us, and they're really good about listening to the artists, and there's only four of them. So, you know, as they grow, um, you know, the needs of the artists are going to grow and people are going to have a lot of requests. And we've got a lot of really good people um, working with them to, to make that happen. But really, the ultimate, the ultimate thing that I say to anybody, no matter what program you use, it's how you use it as an artist. Uh, what are you going to use it for? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back into my gallery and open that up. And we can go back and start drawing. You know, this every everything, there's no... What I like to say is there's no easy button, right? There is no easy button for animation. It's a labor of love. And it's something that you want to learn. Um, and it's, it's something that you have a passion to do. And you, and you have to work hard at it. And so, and even with, even with what I'm doing here, you have to work, you know, real. it took me a long time to, to be able to draw fast. But 
uh, or just draw with more confidence with what I'm doing. So what I'm trying to show you here is that how nice this brush line is. Now this is the pencil. I, this is my favorite one. And the other one that I like using, which is the round opacity, but I like to go in there and I like to put the pressure control on it so it's thick and thin. And then now, so when I go in there and I want to color something, I'm going to add a new layer underneath. Um, I can go in there and build, build my color up. And I can also put it on transparency, put the transparency down on it. So it builds up the colors. Um, and I'm going to make that size a little bit bigger. Let's lighten this up a little bit. I really, let's zoom in on that real quick. And see how great it is, you, how quickly you can just zoom in on it uh, with just your two fingers and look at it and turn it around and snap it back. And there you go. I can, I can zoom in and say, okay, I like this. I want to get some added details. Let's add some highlight right there to the eye and um, snap it back in place. Now for animation, what's really nice is every time you add a frame, uh, I can put on my onion skin layer, which is right here. And on your onion skin layer, you have a really cool thing uh, in your, in your um, settings area. They have onion skin. Now this is just like TV Paint or a lot of other animation programs where you have the ability to not only, uh, you can go up to eight frames before and eight frames after. Uh, and shows onion skin eight frames previous and eight frames after are uh, the key frames And then you can also have the ability to change the color of what you want For each one of those frames before and after and on top of that you can also Add what level of transparency how much do you want to see it and how less do you want to see it? So it's a really nice feature that they've added in here, which is great um, so since I have the previous one in here I could scroll back and forth like so and I'm just going to do a little quick, a quick little blink. Nothing fancy, nothing, nothing big. I just want to show you guys. And maybe his, you know, his head squashes down. So let's actually, I'm going to go back out of this. And again, just showing you how fast you can work in this thing. I'm going to go back down to my pencil again. Uh, bring it back down to size. Make sure I've got my pencil. Oh, not, not that pencil. I want... Uh, I want that pencil right here. All right. So I can go in here and I can just quickly go down and do a, a little squash, maybe squeeze his eyes down a little bit. Like so. And as he's squashing down, he's, he's dragging his, his, the back of his, his, uh, his head is kind of floating up. So, you know, he's in water. So if he's in water, it's going to float around. It's going to do a little overlap. So I'm just going to drop this down really quick. Maybe flatten this out a little bit. Like so. So if you go down, you can see how you can quickly see it animated, which is kind of nice. And then if we want to even go further, I can squash his head, really squash his head down. And then have this little drag behind like so. And I haven't done any of the tentacles yet. I'm just showing you how quickly you can kind of go in and start really drawing this out and having fun with your own animation. Now I'm a, I'm a more realistic style animator. Um, I tend to, you know, get really detailed with my artwork. So you can kind of see how he's already pushing himself down and then he drags a little bit. And he's kind of coming towards camera where I have
boom. See, he's, he's coming already. He's already coming towards camera. And there you have it. Boom. See that? How quickly he's going towards camera. And what's nice is you can also, you can double click these and you can quickly hold that drawing. If you want to hold that drawing for eight frames, then I can kind of go in here and say, okay, I'm going to hold this, this drawing for three frames. And then I'll have this for two and this for two. Let's bring it back down to two. That for three and maybe this for uh, six. And if I want to play that, I can just simply go up here and play it back. If I want to, if you hit the, the film, uh, the film strip at the top left, you can just preview it without the timeline in there and just play it. Oh, actually, you have to make sure that it's not highlighting any of the, the frames. Go ahead and preview it. And you can see how it's just quickly moving. Now I can go in there really fast and start doing an animated scene, but I'm not going to because I don't have a lot of time today. But I am going to promise you guys that for the next week or so, um, I'm going to be incorporating a lot more Calipeg stuff um, since I'm releasing the tutorial. I want to just kind of draw in, in Calipeg with you guys. Um, I have a mythical creature that I've, I've used and a dragon that I'm using as examples of how I'm um, working in them. Also, in the tutorial, I talk about how to use the Calipeg tutorial as it is for storyboarding, um, how, how you can manage and use that. I've even added um, my own, created my own field guides for you guys and a little simple little layer for dialogue. So if you have dialogue and you want something really, really basic and you want to add it as a layer, I've added that into the tutorial itself so you can have fun with that. Um, these are just little added things that I wanted to do for the tutorial because until they get those things built into it, um, these are the things that you're going to have to kind of create your own, like traditional effects. Um, creating your own traditional effects is something that you just have to understand how to use transparencies and layering along with keyframe animation and um, to kind of create water effects or explosions or any other kind of, without all of those extra bells and whistles like Gaussian blur, all the things that you don't have in there at the moment, um, there are ways to get around it and learn keyframe and fundamental ways to animate. And that's what that tutorial is for you guys. So um, with that being said, let me get back out of this. I'm gonna go into the timeline, take off my onion skin. Um, let's erase this guy really quick. Um, where are you? Well, whoop. there we go. Bring that up to 100%. Drop that down. We'll erase this really fast. I will go in here and draw my, my, my pencil. Actually, we'll make that a little smaller. Let's, let's, do, let's do the soft pencil. No, not that one. What do I want? Which ones do I want? Let's see here. I want to, no, we'll just go in with a pencil. So we'll go in with a pencil real quick. We'll put it on black. I'll quickly draw this out for you just so you can have a finished, quick rendered uh, illustration of my octopus. And again, showing you how fast and how great you work, and especially with the smoothing uh, option that's in the tool settings, uh, it allows you to have a, a smoother line. So if you put a stroke down, um, it is bitmap based, but it allows you to smooth out your line so you can create better curves um, and angles that you want to put in there. And you know, I like to just quickly block in my, my eight legs, like so.
And after this, guys, I am off to Eugene for the weekend. I want to I wanna go ahead and enjoy a weekend and, uh, with my, my lovely partner. And my daughter is coming along with us, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, she'll be joining us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's make one little eight. And um, we can just quickly throw in. This is, again, my little gesture. My little gesture drawing. Nothing too fancy. And then I'll just do a little, little drawing underneath. Uh, we'll, we'll color in really fast. Uh, what's, what's also nice is they, have a, they do have a, a coloring tool that I just did right here. I just double clicked it and then I have a, um, a tolerance level. It, if you do a nice clean line, um, this is gonna get better and better, but it, it, if you create a separate layer, you can do quick color fills in, like I just did right there. And I, and, I, and I can do it again, do it like that. Now, since I have a lot of rough lines in there, it's, it's picking everything else. But all I'm doing is I'm double clicking, double clicking. I first click on it, put it on a separate layer. Now I'm creating a color layer um, and quickly drop filling things in, which is a nice feature that they have. But it really requires you to have a nice clean line. So I'm going to get out of that. I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, draw in... Um, Fill this in really quick. Bam. And I'm looking at the time. It's 6.39. We have to leave here soon. So I am, I am going to uh, wrap this up in a moment. But I want to answer a couple of your questions in just a minute because I have... Uh, I've had the, the chat room close while I'm doing this little demo for you guys. It's like speed drawing. How quickly can I fill this in? So I can just drop this in real quick, color this in. I can also add uh, my favorite pencil that I add in there. Maybe lighten it up a little bit. Add some quick highlights. And you know, I would consider this, this type of sketching, what I'm doing, is how I draw my storyboards. When I first draw out thumbnails for storyboards or I'm, I'm actually doing a rough pass. Um, this is, I love drawing loose and fast. Um, you know, I will sit down and take my time to draw illustrations, but rarely because of my business and what I do, um, I don't have a lot of time to do that. So uh, everything I do is like bam, bam, coming up with stories, coming up with uh, storyboards, you know, for a, a 10 minute or 11 minute animated show. Um, so you have to work fast and you have to work diligently. And um, what I'm finding is I love, and I love animating, which you guys all know already, but I'm finding how quickly um, I can produce artwork. Oh, and I just lost the thing again. Let's, let's switch it back over again. back and you know it what's what's really nice is how how quickly I can throw in uh, oh, wrong layer let's uh, back that up a little bit all right and you guys know how how much I love animating and this is what's great is I can quickly go in here and just really 
home in and, and build stuff out really fast um, to get a really good sense of, especially like if I'm doing quick beat boards, this, is, this thing's great for um, really flushing out some quick boards uh, when I'm on the go, especially when I'm on the go. Um, and again, what I, want in, in, what I want to encourage you guys is that this is not just an app for animation. It is mainly for animation, yes. However, this is a great drawing app. Um, if you want to build your drawing, your character designs, and then animate it, you can do it all here. You don't have to leave this. You don't have to animate it. You don't have to storyboard it, or I'm sorry, storyboard it or character design it in another app. You can, or another desktop, you can simply do all of your work in this app alone. And um, it's just, again, I, the, the brushes are great and they're also getting better with the customization of the brushes, what they have to offer. I lost it again. And this is not the fault of the app. It is the fault of my, um, my reflector going in and out. There you go. We're back again. So there you go. I quickly drew in um, a really quick storyboard of this or, or drawing a rough pose of an octopus. And then if you see the octopus being animated without the tentacles, you can see how quickly I built that up. And there you have it. I'm going to go in real quick to the chat room before we have to, I have to head out. So let's see here. Go up to the chat room. And where are we? We're here. Where are you, chat room? Nope. There we go. We got it. Okay. So I see a lot of things in here, a lot of, a lot of people in the chat room right now. And so I just want to go in through. Um, okay. So we have, we have a few people here saying, uh, Eddie says, hello, excuse me, will you ever do an online storyboard course? I would like to learn more. Yes, I will be doing that. Yes, you will be seeing that. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, let's, let's think. Shana, I think you're awesome and kind of helping others along the way. That's for it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, Nate says, looks awesome. Dylan says, wow, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for very much. You can see, you can see basically what it looks like to the side here. So if you have any questions right now, before I go, we've got five more minutes left, uh, in the chat room. So give me a, give me a holler. Uh, tell me what you think of this app. What, if you like it, don't like it. Uh, Kitchen Cat says, thank you. You're, you're very welcome. Um, again, I'm going to try to do more of these things and more in depth stuff, but check out the tutorial at Creature Art Teacher. Uh, check uh, if you get an iPad and you want to try this app, try it out. Uh, Calipeg's also um, uh, showcasing my tutorial through their um, their their website. And I think you get a discount if you order if you get the app. I, I'm not I'm not 100 percent on this. I think they were talking about getting some kind of discount, but we'll we'll look into that. Um, Kristen. Christy Animation says the app looks really awesome. Thank you. Scribbler80 says, I've been impressed with the Calibag team dedication to improving the app. Yes, Scribbler is one of the beta testers. It is pretty amazing on how quickly, and, and Scribbler, you can see how quickly I drew this um, in here. And, and just simply, you know, drawing on this thing is, is just, it's just amazing. Um, and you know, as you get more and more into this, you're going to find things that, um, pencils that you kind of go to pencils that you use. Um, those are all, all great, um, with what they've already put in there. Um, Alice says, looks good. Have fun. Uh, Jorge says, Jorge has a question. All right. Or, Jorge had a question. What was the question? Let me look back up in the chat room. Jorge had a question. What was Jorge's question? Did I miss it? Did I miss it? Let's see here. I don't see in the chat room here, guys. What is it? Um, Alice, can you, uh, or Life Fantasy X, can you tell me what Jorge's question was? Um, I have no idea. So, uh, looks great, man. Drawing feels good in the, in the app. Yeah, drawing feels, definitely feels good in the app. I mean, I, I've been doing, you know, like these little doodles and just, you know, I have my, my go-to like kind of doodle things that I do just to kind of 
have fun and and mess around with um, like doing an owl. How quickly you can just draw in an owl here real quick. Little horned owl, how about that? We'll do a little horned owl. Uh, he says, uh, Life Fantasy 6, can you import Procreate brushes into Calipeg? Uh, Jorge will ask again, can you import? Um, no, you cannot. That is something that um, is not capable of. Uh, it's a question that I can certainly bring up. And this, here's the other thing, guys. If there's things that I can't answer, you can certainly go and ask them because they're a small crew and they really want to make you guys happy and they'll be honest and earnest and let you guys know. The other great thing is that Calipeg is now available in Mexico, which means slowly but surely it's going to work around all of my friends in all the Latin countries. Um, Flavia, I don't know if it's available yet in Chile. Um, let me know. Um, I do know that it's, it's there in uh in Mexico, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, a lot of my friends there really wanted to try out this app, and I think for the money and for for the cost and the, and the choices that you have, um, I you know I have a lifetime for it. So as as it builds and gets bigger and bigger, um, if you buy the lifetime of it, you're you're just going to grow with it. And again, like I said, it's going to be uh, there's there's going to be some big game changers happening in this in the next several months with this thing. You can already import um, many. Uh, in, you can import a lot of uh, drawings into it. Like I want I want it, the accessibility to be able to import images really quickly, so I can go back and forth. If I'm working in one app, let's say TV Paint, I do a PG, PNG sequence, and I want to import that quickly into Calipeg. I believe uh, that we're going to be able to do that. Um, uh, Scribbler says, Scribbler says, I need love for my Latin countries. Yes, we do. We do. Um, Jorge says, I got to download the app. So yeah, it seems to be available in Mexico. That's great. That's fantastic. That's good to hear. I really want you to know, let me know how you like it. Uh, Scribbler's always here to answer questions. Uh, Carlos, uh, Carlos from Sketch, uh, Sketch Zone, as well as Jack from Sketch Zone. We're all beta testers. They're all there to, 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 uh, help you guys along the way. Again, like I said, I'm trying to build more in-depth tutorials using Calipeg. Um, and yes, I am a part of their team, but um, I'm also trying to bring my 30 years experience into this uh, mix with the, the Calipeg app. Um, you're gonna see some amazing things come out of uh, this animation. I'm already seeing amazing animation coming out of Scribbler, uh, character designs coming out of Scribbler. Uh, there's, there's Dave, there's uh, another gentleman that I saw that does, uh, he did this uh, loop where this guy's uh, skipping in a circle. Brilliant, beautiful animation. But stylistically, you can change things. It, it's got a very painterly and, and sketchy feel, which is something that we really wanted. We wanted to have that, that textural kind of feel with the pencils that will give it that traditional look. Um, so that's, that's really fun and exciting. Um, yeah, look, at, I mean, I'm just, draw shapes. Quickly, you can draw shapes. Look at that. And quickly, you can delete the shapes. You know what I like doing? I love erasing. <laughs> I love erasing because I get to start all over again. It's like it's like that little uh, Etch-A-Sketch. You draw something and then you shake it and you dis make it disappear. Um, you know, I, I just draw and I just draw and draw and draw until I like something uh, that works for me. But that's it, guys. I hope you like this really quick demo. I gotta go. We're going to we're gonna go away for the weekend. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, Bernie says I've ordered the iPad Pro specifically for the software, and I'm in, excited to give it a go. How does this compare to a more expensive software like TV Paint? Obviously, TV Paint has a lot more bells and whistles. Um, the the interface is different. However, I think it is fantastic when it comes to uh, working as a keyframe animator who likes to work in bitmap and not vector. I'm a bitmap type of person, pixels, and um, I, I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, of vector, although I, I think it's a place for everything. I just think that when they did this, they had this in mind, they had a very specific thing that they wanted to do with, uh, with this in particular. So 
Uh, Jorge says, thank you so much, Travis. Have fun. Thank you, guys. Um, again, to answer um, Bernie's, I think it's it's different. It's just a different software. Uh, the best thing I can do is, is download the software, give it a go. If you like it, try out my tutorial um, through Creature Art Teacher. Uh, look, at, look at some of the things. Go check out my website at uh, sketchtoanimate.com and sign up. Also, go check out my YouTube. I have a lot of live streams on there with a lot of information um, on there that's pretty interesting and informative. I also have back to basic tutorials that teaches you back to basics like uh, a walk cycle, stretch and squash, bouncing ball, a flower sack. Um, I'm going to be doing one about how not to noodle, uh, how to uh, motiv keep yourself motivated. I'm going to come out with little back to basic tutorials like that. So you're going to find a lot of different things. Anyways, um, Filippo says, thanks for the demo, Travis. You guys are welcome. And again, um, let's going over to big Travis uh, transition. If you like this, Give it a go. Thank you guys again. Um, this is just my way of giving back and saying thank you for um, the orders that have already occurred. Um, it's been a good success so far uh, in this past week with the pre-order sales. So it seems like people are seeming to like it. Give me your feedback. Let me know. If you do purchase the tutorial, I really want to know your feedback. If there's something I'm missing, if there's something that I can improve, let me know. Uh, I'm, you know I'm trying to do my best as a teacher uh, to give you the best information that comes out of this crazy brain of mine uh, in, a, in a very educational way. So uh, Bernie says, thank you. I will definitely check out all of these tutorials. And of course, uh, that. And Alice says, thanks. Have a great, safe weekend. Jorge says, see you around. And nice, oh, <laughs> nice haircut. Uh, I think Scribbler will appreciate that one. Yeah, I just cut my own hair the other day. So, all right, guys, take care. We'll see you. Have a good one. I'm out of here.